made some friends yesterday. I saw lots of animals there. There were tigers, monkeys, bears, giraffes, and lots of other animals too. We will learn more about them later. Let's look at what's lined up for you today. First, we're going to talk about animals. Next, Mr. Hans will come on to teach us something interesting. Then, we're going to learn about words which mean belonging to somebody. Then, we'll sit back and enjoy a story called The Fox and the Crane. And as always, we'll have song time at the end of the program. So, are you ready? Well, let's get started! about our trip to the zoo. Children, did we have a good time at the zoo? Yes, we did, Dad. All right. Now, I want each of you to tell me the name of one animal you saw at the zoo. Uh, let's start with Lily. Elephant. Giraffe. Zebra. Now, I want all of you to tell me more about the animals that you saw. This is an elephant. It is very big. It has a long trunk. This is a giraffe. It is very tall. It has a long neck. It looks like a horse. It has black and white stripes. This is a monkey. It is small. It has a long tail. This is a parrot. It is quite a big bird. It has colorful feathers. Now, let's try this quiz. I will show you a part of an animal and you have to guess what animal it is. It's easy and it's fun. Uh, Lily, you start again. Here's your clue. Hmm. Stripes. Black and orange. I know what it is. It's a tiger. You're right. Now, you try it, Izuan. Here's your visual clue. That's a... It's a hump of a camel. That's very good, Izuan. Yes, it's a camel. Okay, Noro, your turn. Ooh, what a curved sharp beak this is. It has to be a beak of an eagle. You've got it. Now, can you name this animal, Usha? Oh, that's an easy one. It's definitely the tail of a crocodile. <laughs> You're good, Usha. It's your turn now, Justin. That tail can only belong to one bird. And that bird is the peacock. You're right. Okay, Benji. Here's your clue. Oh, that's my favorite animal. Neck, those are the eyes of a panda. Very good, Benji. That was fun, wasn't it? So, why don't you draw parts of animals and quiz your friends with it? Now, let's move on to Spellman and see what mistakes he's going to correct today.
so this is a job for Spellman! Oh no! <laughs> Hippopotamus! Hippopotamus! Hmm. Python! Python! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to make a letter holder. Things we are going to use today are some paper plates, a hole puncher, a pair of scissors, a pencil and a ruler, a paper clip, and some colourful ribbons. First, we'll start off by cutting one of the paper plates into two. To make sure the cut is straight, we use a pencil and ruler to draw a line in the centre. Then, we use a pair of scissors to cut it like this. Now, take one half of the paper plate and make some marks along the edge with a pencil like this. Make sure the marks are of the same distance from each other because this is where we are going to punch the holes. They can be very close together or distances apart. Now we are ready to punch the holes. One by one, do it nicely and carefully. So, this is how it looks like when the holes have been punched. Next, we are going to place it against a new paper plate like this and make pencil marks through the holes. We are going to punch holes too on these mark points. Let's do it! Now, we are ready to put them together. This is where we use the ribbon. But before that, we are going to turn the paper clip into a needle. It is going to help us weave the ribbon through the holes.
hold the paper plates together because we are going to weave the ribbon in and out of the holes we have made on the paper plates. But first, let's start off by tying the ribbon securely at the end of the first pair of holes. Now we can start weaving. Do it slowly. Tie the ribbon again and our paper holder is ready. Before using them, you can use your creativity to decorate them. You can use colors, stickers or any decorative items to make the paper holder look presentable as a decorative item in your home. Besides letters, you can put other things into them too. But don't forget, there must be a hole at the top so that you can hang them. Bye! Weekles. Weekles. Car. Bicycle. Today, we are going to learn about words that tell us that something belongs to somebody. My, your, his, her, our, their. Here's how it works. I have a watch. This is my watch. She has a doll. It is her doll. You have a book. Your book. He has a football. It is his football. They have a bicycle. It's their bicycle. We have a car. This is our car. Another interesting story for you today. It is 
called The Fox and the Crane. It's just for you, so watch and listen. The Fox and the Crane were friends. They lived near a lake at the edge of the forest. One day, the fox invited the crane for dinner. The crane was very happy. She thanked the fox. At seven o'clock, the crane went to the fox's house. The fox served her soup. He put the soup in a plate. The fox finished his soup. He then licked his plate. The crane tried and tried, but she could not eat the soup. This was because she had a long beak. She felt sad and disappointed. Aren't you hungry, crane? The fox asked. The soup is delicious. It would be wasted if you do not eat it. Here, let me help you finish it. He added. Quickly, he grabbed the plate of soup and ate it up in one big gulp. The crane knew that the fox had tricked her. She thought of how she could teach the fox a lesson. Thank you for inviting me to dinner, she said. Let me repay you by inviting you to dinner at my house tomorrow night, she added. The greedy fox accepted the invitation. At seven o'clock the next evening, the fox went to the crane's house. The crane served him food in a tall, narrow jar. She ate her food easily. The fox tried and tried, but he could not eat the food. This was because his mouth was not long enough to reach it. He felt sad and disappointed. Oh, don't be shy, fox. Eat as much as you can. The food is delicious. It would be wasted if you do not eat it. Here, let me help you finish it, said the crane. Quickly, she ate up all the food in the fox's jar. The fox ran home hungry. After that day, he never played tricks on others again. He had learned his lesson. Ball. Basketball. Basketball. Finger. Nail. Finger nail. Finger nail. Light House Lighthouse Lighthouse
Well, we had a lot of fun today. Join me again for another exciting episode of Next World. Bye bye.